coffee and a morning patrol. For me, there's no better way to start our service's 227th birthday. It's a chance to connect with operators and remind myself of what the pointy end of the spear looks like. As Commandant, I spend most of my time outside the lifelines of our service, working with Congress to build out the 21st Century Coast Guard, icebreakers, inland river tenders, land-based, unmanned aerial systems, the offshore patrol cutter. I work to convey the significance of the challenges faced in the Western Hemisphere, the evolving cyber domain, and attracting and retaining the best workforce, one that reflects the public we serve. As we stand the watch, it's all too easy to fall victim to the tyranny of the present, to get caught up in the theater of now. But when you step back and look from a broader perspective, we as the sun rises today are serving in the best Coast Guard the world has ever known, one that other nations attempt to emulate. But what no nation can replicate, what no budget can buy, is our storied history and our incredibly dedicated and talented workforce. Over the years, we have called ourselves all kinds of titles, Smokies of the Sea, Coasties, Guardians, Shipmates. To me, it's never really mattered. What matters is who we are. And we are Hamilton. We are Douglas Monroe, Dr. Olivia Hooker, DC-3 Nate Bruckenthal, Commander Elmer Stone, Bernie Weber. We are Richard Etheridge and the Pea Island Life Saving Station. The Overland Expedition, the Deepwater Horizon Response, and the Katrina Mass Rescue. No matter where you fit in this organization, no matter your specialty, you are part of a legacy that reaches back more than two centuries and has never meant more to the nation than it does at this very instant. You are selfless servants, upholding our core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty so that others may live. And as your commandant, as your servant, there's really only one thing that I can say. Thank you, and happy 227th birthday, and Semper Paratus.